Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back on another video from Six, and today we're going to be checking out Baruto's time skip is rapidly approaching, and it is. That last chapter was something else, man. And just a quick one, um, whenever like Baruto manga chapters come out, or One Piece chapters come out, or like uh, I'm watching episodes of things, I do like a quick like 60 second review over on my TikTok channel. There should be a QR code like on the screen somewhere, I think that you can just scan. But anyway, I can't wait to see what happens next in Baruto. Um, like, what's going to happen between... Because, obviously now, uh, Kawaki's transport is Naruto away, which is what I think he was hinting at. At the very opening of Baruto, we are building up to that. We are building up to that. But how's Baruto going to react to what Kawaki's done? What's, what's Kawaki do next? We've got all the stuff with Code. Like, yeah, what's happening with Code next? Um, oh, mate, I, I can't... Like, I'm actually saying I am excited to find out what happens next in Baruto. So let's see what, um, let's see what Six has to say, shall we? A few days ago, we were given art by Ikimoto, who is the artist oh, that cool. draws the Boruto manga, and the art seems to depict what is yeah, how does Boruto get that happen to his eye? Time skip Kawaki just standing directly next to each other. Their designs oh. do look a little bit different from what we were originally given back in chapter one of the manga, but Ikimoto's art style has evolved it's, since then. It has got better, which has got prompted better. a lot of people to ask whether or not these people are actually the same age they were in chapter one. Or hmm. this is maybe a younger Boruto before that point in the story hmm. actually happens. Like I said, I think this is just Ikimoto's art style evolving and it's not indicative of any uh, pre-time okay. skip, post-time skip, weird Boruto in the middle section, whatever. But the art has prompted a lot of questions. Um, one would have to think if we're getting this art that the time skip must be approaching soon and if not, we're going to get it sometime during this year. I I hope it's soon. <laughs> or, yeah, it's got to be this year. With what's just happened, it has to be this year, man. I've also been asking myself, and, you know, I just had to question some of the other people I know, whether or not the time skip would actually be worth it from a story perspective, or if we were just getting our hopes up for, for a time skip. just to be let down. Mm. Uh, will the quality of the writing really change post time skip or will the manga just get more cool will get better fights something more like cool that. better fights is not something that i'm opposed to like if we get better fights seeing quality story i'm going to be perfectly fine with reading post time skip boards or watching the anime but it is something that a lot of people have been saying just since borto started that well whenever we get to the time skip Everybody's going to switch up. Everybody's going to be a Borto fan. And I don't really think so, if I'm being honest. Okay, interesting. A lot of the people who seem to hate on Borto bring up the one criticism that I think is... It's not valid. I don't think it's a valid criticism because the criticism seems to ignore everything that happened in Naruto. And it's that they miss when the story was all about ninjas. The Naruto story <laughs> okay, yeah. wrapped up all the conflict to do with ninjas whenever Naruto ended the cycle of hatred. So so I don't really like that criticism of Borto. I think it's kind of redundant to just want that same type of story over. Yeah, like it's still a continuation of Naruto. Again, it would sort of defeat almost every single thing Naruto did in the past. Of course, they do have conflict with some ninjas on Earth whenever um, you know, you do read Borto, but it's not nearly as prominent as something like the Osusukis or the Kara Threat, where they're fighting cyborgs. So yeah, it'll be interesting yeah, to talk yeah. about whether or not this time skip would actually be worth it. What's actually going to happen there? It seems as if the, the time skip is supposed to just be showing you that the age of Shinobi is actually just over. Mm. It's one of the first quotes we get in the entire manga. Kawaki telling us that, you know, he's basically going to just end all the Shinobi. He does mention to Naruto in the last chapter we got that so Shinobi good. are just those who inevitably have to die to the Osutsuki. That's something he believes. So he's going to protect Naruto while he kills all the Osutsuki. Obviously, he doesn't like them because of what Ishiki and Jigen did to him. Obviously, but, you know it's just a it's just a it's just a nice question because we because it's interesting as well. Because if he's gonna kill all the Osutsuki, or Osutsuki, however you pronounce it, that surely includes Baruto as well. Realistically, know almost nothing about post time skip Boruto. Um, we know that Kawaki was probably talking about how he just sealed Naruto away whenever he said, I'll send you to the same place I sent the seventh Okage. But 
does that really make sense? I don't think it's the that same. He's telling Borto that he will send him there. Yeah, like why would he? When he wants to kill Borto, yeah. supposedly anyway. Just, his yeah, ideals you're just could change over the next three years, but right now, anyway, to our knowledge, he wants to kill Borto because Borto has Momoshiki in him, and he felt bad that he wasn't able to kill him. He literally tells yeah. Hinata and Naruto that that. That was so bad. I couldn't believe reading that. He was like, when I saw that Baruto was still alive, I was disappointed. It was like, ah. it's like, I failed. It's like, geez. Whenever he came to and he realized Boruto survived, his thought wasn't that, you know, thank God my brother's alive. It was that he failed. Yeah, there you go. He didn't complete his mission to kill Boruto. He acknowledges he's a little bit crazy, but he says that, you know, you have to be crazy to be willing to kill your brother and that's it, it puts us in a weird spot where we don't know exactly what kawaki was talking about amato does mention that the otsutsuki even though he doesn't worship them he does consider them god so he thinks that the otsutsuki bring the power of hope or the otsutsuki bring the power to just impose their will so i was thinking maybe kawaki could do something along the lines of separate Momoshigi's consciousness and Borto's body Ooh. and send Borto away after that. Mm. That would be the only way that the statement from the beginning of the manga would Makes make sense. sense. Because yeah. if he didn't do that, then he'd just be sending Borto away and nothing else would really happen. It nothing would seem to really yeah, contradict yeah. So weird, his yeah. goals. Like I said, we do have at least four years after this uh, late, latest chapter to determine whether or not Kawaki is actually going to still kill Boruto or not, four years of the development. But I mean, at least as of right now, it just seemingly contradicts almost everything he was saying. Um, We do get glimpses of the future from Boruto's perspective a few chapters ago. And seemingly anyway, everybody is looking for Kawaki and Kawaki has a bloodied face while looking at Sage Mode Mitsuki. And Mitsuki is saying that Kawaki, for the first time, I guess, genuinely made him angry. And as <laughs> everyone should know, Mitsuki really only gets angry when it comes to Boruto. Yeah, he, he don't feel a lot, does he? He's Orochimaru's little weird experiment. So it seems like maybe Kawaki is going to leave Borto in like a near death state or something like that. And then go on the run as a fugitive. But then it's like, well, where is he going to go? Why is he going to leave Konoha? Was he going to go live in the forest? Maybe try to hunt down code or something yeah. like that. We also don't know what happens to Damon and Ida. And if Kawaki even is a fugitive, who is going to bring him in? right yeah like right now i know i was gonna say here that no one is as strong as kawaki they've literally said it haven't they they've literally stated kawaki now is the most powerful person in konoha like no one is going to be able to do anything about him now they they've said this multiple times right now nobody can stop kawaki sasuke can't do it naruto can't do it and they can't restrain him they literally cannot restrain Kawaki whatsoever because he can shrink with Sukuna Hikona or he can shrink the, the doors around him. He can shrink the chains around him. It's ridiculous what they've done. It's like, I find it so weird. Like, it's awesome, but at the same time, it's just so bizarre to me how Baruto's story has continued. Like, that girl that can read anyone's memories uh, anywhere in the world, basically see any conversation uh, up to, like, before, like she was, the time she was born... And then everyone just falls in love with her when, when they see her. So they don't want to fight her. It's like, what? And then her brother can just reflect anything that's used against him. It's like, uh, what? The... It's made everyone pretty much redundant. And I think it's kind of necessary because all the hype moments in Baruta are always when like the old cast do something. And now I think they're trying to fix that by leading into this time skip. Now, sowing the seeds leading up to it and then making the actual like Baruto cast capable or just you know doing something and then after he shrinks the doors chains in himself he can erase his chakra signature 
so that absolutely no one can track him. That's how he got into Naruto's mm -hmm. house in the first place to seal him That's away. That's how he was escaping as well. So it's a bit of a complicated situation that Boruto is in right now. And I do remember reading an interview in the past from Akimoto and Kodachi where they said that they don't even really know how Boruto is going to get to the point that we see in the first chapter. Oh, wow, and okay. I really hope that they don't rely on the vague wording of Kawaki's statement that he's going to send Boruto to the same place he sent the Seven Hokage and yeah. the Shinobi is over and whatnot. I'm not going to lie and say that if Aikimoto and Kodachi didn't have everything planned out, um, that they're bad writers, but the, the story at least needs to, to flow in a good way and get to that point naturally. How much time is left in the manga after the time skip? Like, hmm. does the time skip happen and then we have maybe two more volumes? I know. Yeah, like we haven't built up enough, enough story for it to kind of like seem like it could progress for a lot longer. Like we've got Code now setting up his army. Like, do we wait until after the time skip for that to be a thing? Or does the Code stuff happen before the time skip? There's so much stuff that needs to... Uh... I know that a long time ago, it was stated that they wanted Borto to be under 30 volumes, but like I said, that was a long time ago. Right. Manga artists change their plans for how long they want a manga to be all the time. Oh, yeah. So it's possible Borto could go on for even longer, maybe be around uh, 40 volumes or something like that. I think 30 volumes um, implies with how many chapters are typically in a Borto volume, which is four. I think 30 volumes implies the story would be around 120 chapters or okay. it could be at least 120 chapters and if it is 130 or 120 130 chapters somewhere in that range then i guess it can make sense that the time skip would come soon and then there would just be you know equal an equal amount of or a relative amount of time to pre-time skip as there is post time skip or maybe post time skip would be longer like Naruto Part Two. Yeah, that went on for a long time. Yeah, because we really have no information. Naruto Part One was twenty-seven volumes, and then it went up to volume seventy-two, and then the um, Hokage and the Seventh Spring, or something like that. Uh, so technically, seventy up to volume seventy-three, which is uh, that's like well, so thirty. Yes, yeah, double. Well, it's more. Information <laughs> on any of this. It's really just me speculating, but I think that there are valid questions that we need to pose and try to get an answer to. Kakashi is supposedly going to come into the story at some point. I mentioned this in one of my recent videos about uh, Naruto being sealed and whatnot. Kakashi is supposed to come into the story at some point, but I can't even see where it, Kakashi yeah. would fit into this story, let alone um, how long his presence would be. Um, the, the only way I could see Replacing it is the Hokage. Kakashi being the new 6th Hokage, mm. or the Hokage again, not the new 6th Hokage, it's already, yeah. already Hokage, but Kakashi being the next Hokage and, you know, negotiating with other villages and whatnot. I could maybe see the Shinobi it's world kind of Kakashi's not destroying had, like, itself to do with and then Kawaki's on like helping with it. Whenever they find out that Kawaki's on the loose, he's like basically a Konoha ninja at this point. And he's trying to get rid of the age of shinobi or whatever that the other villages might attack konoha try to put a stop to it but realistically nobody from any of the other villages should be able to do anything to kawaki yara shouldn't be able to do anything uh kuritsuchi chojiro darui they shouldn't be able to do anything unless they've been going on massive training yeah arcs. huge training arcs, arcs, yeah and they're they're little side stories yeah. to kawaki and then there's still the threat of Code. Code's been building a Ten Tails army for the last, I think, six chapters. Yeah. And we've seen nothing of it yet. We don't even know what he's going to do with it, really. We know that he wants to invade Konoha, but does he want to invade Konoha and take down Damon? Does he want to try to take down Kawaki? And how does he even plan on doing that? Yeah, it's a bit and weird. We know he's stronger now. We know he's supposedly His stronger. His limiters than Damon, have been taken off, yeah. How is that going to help him if Damon is there to protect Kawaki? How is this Ten Tails army that is seemingly going to weaken him going to aid him in going to Konoha? There's also brand new plot points being introduced that were kind of never hinted at before, which isn't a bad thing. It's just sort of random. Like Himawari supposedly having this hidden intensity and power. 
Yeah, that th- kind of threw me. It's like, because Damon was like, whoa, what do you mean you're not a ninja when you've got that? And it's like, what do you mean? What does she have? If he, da- Damon sees her as a potential kind of threat, I thought. That is so strong that it's supposedly stronger than Kawashiki and Borashiki, considering Damon's excitement for it. Yeah. Again, it's just things that I think it deserves an answer or at least you know trying to figure out what Damon could be talking about a lot of people said that Damon might just have a crush on Himawari maybe which is possible yeah it could be but Damon loves fighting so I feel like if he did have a crush on Himawari since he's clearly not talking about how she looks it would be mm. because she has some crazy unknown hidden power yeah that he wants like to fight that. yeah I don't think we're going to get the answer to that one in specific anytime soon I could see that plot point not coming back for another like 10 chapters yeah, before yeah. we actually get an answer. But it is at least very interesting to think about. And then I guess the last thing to mention, code code sucks. I, I'm- <laughs> I'm sorry, got to pause that there for a second. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I thought this was going to be an actual talk about Code, but yeah, Code has not done anything, man. He's, he's just been built up as this huge threat. Oh, his limiters. We've got to get rid of them. We've got rid of his limiters. He's making this army. He's not really done anything, has he? Like, uh, I think his ability looks stupid as well. He can put those things down anywhere, and then he can teleport anywhere, and he's putting them on the Ten Tails army things. He's going to be able to teleport through them and stuff, and it's just like, cool. Do something. I mean, I guess I haven't really given Code time to become a better villain, but Code's been the main threat, at least story-wise, the main threat since chapter 56 or something like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. And it's 20 chapters later, and he still has not done anything of importance. No, that's... He's only (laughs) lost to people. He beat up on, like, base Kawaki. Then Borto came in. He kind of beat up on him. Borto awakened, started beating him up. Then Borashiki came out, started beating him up. Then Kawashiki came out, started beating him up. (laughs) Then he came to Konoha. Delta beat him up. Or at least kicked him in his chest, made blood come out. He kidnaps Amato, gets his limiters off, then Damon beat him up. So it's like, what what left what left am I supposed to expect from him? Why am I supposed to care care about yeah, code yeah. for this it's many a, it, chapters? If yeah, it's not done anything. It, it's not. It doesn't seem like an intimidating threat because he's not actually done anything, is it? It's like matter as soon as you've seen him when he popped up. It was insane because we didn't see him do anything, but we heard so much stuff about him. If we constantly saw Madara like losing this fight, not su- not succeeding in a plan, not doing any other, and then it came to the end, you, you wouldn't be like, oh, you'd be like, okay, what's he going to do now? You know what I mean? If he's just going to keep losing, getting beaten up, and not really amounting to anything. Like I said, I guess time will tell. Obviously, there's no limit to how long code has to be in the manga. So maybe you can do a complete 360 or a complete 180. Sorry, as a villain um, in his last 10 chapters and become as good as pain or something like that. But yeah, I highly doubt it. And I think that they sort of are dropping the ball, even having code in the story at this point, because of all the plot points I mentioned, the code one is the least interesting. Yeah, that's not to everybody's yeah. perspective. Code is about to show up. With this Ten Tails army, maybe wreak havoc for a little while and get beaten up. Yeah. It, it, there's absolutely no faith in anything Code can do at this point. Like, unless, like, I don't know, like, in the time skip, we've got Kawaki and Baruto. We literally only see those two in the in the first opening chapter. What if, like, Code's on one of their sides? Uh, but still, don't really care. It's pretty narratively consistent or sound anyway to think that Borishiki is like when when Momo takes over Borso's conscience he is going to be the one who ends up taking down Sasuke like that that makes sense narratively in my head like the 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 more I think about it so it leaves Code in this weird spot of limbo like he's not gonna kill Kawaki no 
we know that because we see Kawaki see later future. on. Yeah, yeah. He's not going to kill Kawaki. He's not going to kill Boruto. He's not going to kill Boruto. Yeah. We see Boruto. And I think Boruto is going to kill Sasuke. Naruto has already been dealt with. What is left for Code? What is there to look <sighs> forward to with Code? And it's just absolutely nothing. Even the upcoming Boruto anime arc, the, the supposed Code arc, no one's looking forward to see oh, Code's damn. interactions. Yeah. Everyone's looking forward to Boruto and Kawaki's fight. So, yeah. I, I mean, that's really all I have to say. It's just questions I think need to be answered. But, yeah. Other than that, have a nice day. Cool. Awesome. Awesome little uh, talk about what's coming next. Because um, I did like that last chapter, but there's a lot of questions. And he is, he is right. Like, what is Code doing, man? Like, Code's a nothing character that they've tried to thing. I, I think they just wanted um, the whole, like, uh, after oh, it, it, thing he died, who he was following, working for. They just needed that to, like, carry on with the Ten Tails thing and that. So, yeah, I think they just needed something to do with the Ten They just needed to use the Ten Tails. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like he's a false uh, Osasuki, isn't he? So like he's got that thing. That, so maybe, maybe, maybe he gets fed to the Ten Tails at some point, and uh, it like, does something. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was cool. I love Six's uh, discussions on these uh, on these things. And uh, yeah, glad I caught up with the manga. And like I said, if you want to see like my little, uh, I do sixty second reviews on like. Uh, Baruto mangas when they come out, the Dragon Ball Super manga as it's coming out, uh, One Piece as the chapters come out, and whenever I'm watching an episode of Trigun Stampede, uh, Revengers, um, what's the other one I'm watching? Uh, oh, To Your Eternity, uh, and then when I check out other stuff, I do like a 60 second little thing as well, so I think the QR code, I, I'm still figuring all this stuff out, but I think there's a QR code somewhere on, on the screen that you just scan, and it'll take you to my TikTok channel, subscribe there, and uh, got instagram which i'll be i think that's around here <laughs> which I'm, i'll be more active on re, um as we go into the weeks and twitter and t t yeah, twitter and uh twitch are up here i think ah anyway thank you to my subscribers no <laughs> i do thank you to my patrons if you want to have your name at the end of every video upload, link in the description of the Patreon page. One dollar a month is the last support the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys very much for that. And thank you all for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe, if you haven't already. leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch some future videos. I'll see you guys. All you guys, nice time.